Hi guys, my name is Jonah and welcome back to my channel and today welcome to Board News Studio. Uh, I invite you to the first episode, my series uh, Board News in English version. You know, I have been recording this series in my other channel more than three years and now I decide uh, to show you in English version and I hope you like it. So if you want to, if you want to see about the announcement, if you want to hear about interesting campaign and you know, hot news from Board Game World, just stay with me. And if you are publisher, uh, I encourage you to contact with me and cooperating. Uh, you will find my data contact in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, it will be great if you leave a like and maybe also share this video with other players. And don't forget, join to my subscribers. Okay, now let's go with board news. Next news will be from Cool Mini or Not publisher. And I'm sure that there are some zombie side series fans. Um, so this publisher, I mean, Simon has uh, launched pre-sale of the boys character packs uh, for the second edition zombie side. You can order three boxes and inside you will find not only new hero miniatures, but also abominations and equipment or identification cards. If you are interested in this, the link of Hero Packs can be found in the description below. Okay guys, next news about interesting campaign. How about racing on a beach? Allowed running, swapping, squeezing, jumping, pushing uh, and passing, all to escape the fog in a board game The Fog Escape from Paradise. This is a competitive game for one to six players who, as a resident of a lonely island, try to escape the approach danger, the fog. It's a launch campaign by Solox Games, uh, launch August 13, a Kickstarter campaign. In this board game, you play the role of a, a wrench coordinating the difficulty journey to several drowned Icelanders towards their boat. During the gameplay, you try to rescue as many of them as possible. So each turn you use aviable movement points to move the selected islanders towards to the lifeboats. While the beach is filled and everyone is in a panic, will you stay calm and ensure that your islander reach their boats before the fog reaches them? The board game Eutia Torment of Resurrection returns with a campaign on Kickstarter July 26, so in the next week. Uh, this time, as announced publisher Steamforge Games, this project will have three simple committed levels instead of the previous seven. In addition, due to the nature of this project and the scope of the game itself, all of the content of the Kickstarter campaign will be exclusive and will not go to general retail. If you want to see more detail about Eutia, check out my unboxing uh, this board game. I leave you a link to this video in the description below. Everdell is one of the favorite board game my viewers and maybe also like this board game. And if on top of that uh, you like play on digital version from time to time, I think this news will be interesting for you. Starting next week uh, from July 28, this board game, I mean Everdell, will be available in digital version to play on PC, mobile devices and Nintendo Switch. In the description below, I leave you a link to, to the trailer if you want to see it again. And if you want to play in digital version, it will be possible in next week. This information will be about Frosthaven game, but I'm sure that after you hearing this news, you won't get frosty. I think it's possible that for many of you, this news will be really hot. Cephalofery Games has announced a limited pre-order of the game Frosthaven. So if you miss a campaign of the Kickstarter platform, they can still pre-order this game. Now Frosthaven is in production and will hit the backers later this year. The pre-order will be fulfilled after backers complete the orders and this is the last opportunity to purchase the first wave directly from this publisher. Most of you are probably familiar with the board game Duna Imperium. It's one of the board game nominated for the Spiel des Jahres uh, award this year. 
uh, it didn't uh, win the uh, award, but um, much loved by players. And if the basic game isn't enough for someone of you, you can try themselves a fan-made expansion offering interesting leaders with new skills. Max Koterski, I mean the author, invites you to test it and uh, share your comments. You can find out more on Max fanpage on Facebook and I leave the link for you in the description below this episode. Are there any fans or good old gangster cinema with us? If so, you are probably be interested uh, by new game uh, from Spin Master Games, The Godfather Last Family Standing. This is a simple card party game where three to six people will try to stay alive. By playing actions from cards, we will push other players out, hide behind cars, or even make alliances so as to escape Las Vegas or Italy. The game is won to the one who remains on the battlefield last with at least one orange. And now short news for those of you who like to produce energy. Cranio Creations just announced new expansion for the board game Barrage. The Nile Affair expansion will be for two to four players and introduces a new map and irrigation mechanics. It will allow you to use water drops a new way. This news will be super exciting for the Lord of the Rings fans because Fantasy Flight Games has announced new expansion for this card game. It contains six scenarios and retreats the adventures depicted in the first installment of the Lord of the Rings saga. Also included in the box are over 15 hero and player cards, all of which can be used to build or strength a deck for any of the game's scenarios or campaigns. And what is important, this expansion combines all the content of Black Riders and the Road Darkness, so if someone of you already has these two expansions, they will not find any new cards or contents in this one. This news will be about uh, board games and award. This past week, uh, the prestige awards Spiel des Jahres uh, that many of you have been waiting for were awarded. Among the nominees in this category were Top 10 and Scout. I think that the win of this board game, Cascadia, was not a big surprise. In the advanced game category, the award went to Living Forest. And here already many players might have been surprised, because this game was rather not a favorite. It's competed with a game Dune Imperium and the game Cryptid. This combination, I mean Nemesis and Doctor Who, for those of you will be surprised or maybe weird. Uh, but this is a new announcement by Gal49 uh, on this October, Doctor Who Nemesis. You will take on the role of one of the Doctor's many adversaries pursuing their own goals. There are four Nemesis to choose from. The Daleks, the Cyberman, the Master and the Weeping Angels. You will, by completing one of your nefarious plans by fulfilling the victory condition on the game, Thematic card. If you know and maybe if you like a card game Intrigue Plus Wish Spring, then a new proposition by Lucrum Studio, a Venturesome, will be interesting for you. It's a new card game for two to five players, scheduled for the late this October. When playing Venturesome, you try to gather a group of adventurers able to undertake a chosen challenge while evading any threats. You use the abilities of your expedition members in order to thwart your revolve plans. However, bear in mind that your opponents are equally ready to steal, manipulate or do anything that is necessary to defeat you. If you don't act quickly, instead of fighting the treasure, your expedition will get into real trouble. So in this game, forget about scruples and compromises. This news will be just for Marvel fans, because now you can order the Phoenix Hero Pack to Marvel Champions card game from Fantasy Flight Games. So, you can use the superpowers of a new player heroes, or rather, heroines, later in this fall. Phoenix joined the fry with this expansion pack along 
with her 16 signature cards. With a pre-built Justice deck ready to play from the start, you will be able to shoot down the Valiant's plans from the moment you open the box. As part of the pre-order, now you can buy this game on a publisher website. If you like the board game Cascadia, this year Spiel des Jahres Award winner, then probably a new proposition from the same author, um, the board game Tabrids, will be interesting for you. The Tabrids game is about to launch its campaign on GameFound. In this economic board game for 1-5 to five players, we will wave and sell luxury carpets in the Persian market town of Tabriz. In a turn, a player moves one of three meeples of a science through the Grand Bazaar and takes an action there. Each assistant has a limited range, but with carefully planning, you can create a quick and efficient series of actions that will allow you to get all the materials you need to complete your orders before other players snatch them from under your nose. Do you like dungeon crawlers? This news will be about new dungeon crawler Nightfall and this game will be released in early August in this year Gen Con. Nightfall is an asymmetrical team game for 1-6 to six players. One team controls the knights, who must protect the elders and hold of the demons until dawn. The other team controls the demons, who aim to break the seal to the underworld before dawn. During the game, you choose a unique knight or demons, each with different special powers, such as the Flame Knight's ability to envelop enemies in fire or the Bone Crust's power to summon skeletal minions. The cards you play from your hand to perform actions can be used in a variety of ways and the set of unique locations tale allow you to create a monastery with a different layout each game. Who among you knows and maybe has a card game smash up? Then now you can get to the fairy tale universe in a new version of this game, Smash Up Disney Edition. In this version of this card game, players choose two decks of their favorite Disney factions and combine their powers to take over the bases, score the most points, and win, of course. You choose two of Frozen, Big Hero 6. Wreck It Ralph, The Lion King, Mulan, Aladdin, The Nightmare Before Christmas and Beauty and Beast to create the most exciting team ups imaginable. This news won't exactly be about board game. You may know that uh, Awaken Realms Publishing uh, was planning to release uh, a computer version of Tainted Grail uh, Fall of Avalon as an open world RPG. But just don't confuse Tainted Grail Conquest, uh, because are two independent productions in this universe. A trailer for the game has already been published, announcing that it should be released in Steam as early access as fall of this year. And if you would like Steam to remind you about the start of access, you can add this item to your wishlist. The link can be found in the description below. Now it's already known, the new Kickstarter campaign from the Cool Mini or Not publisher will be for the game Dune War for Arrakis. Cool Mini or Not is publisher knows for its board games filled with miniatures and the new Dune will be no different. In the box you can expect that as many as 100 miniatures may appear on the board, many of which are individual characters from Dune. Since Dune War for Arrakis is a war game, the publisher decided to use smaller scale miniatures to fill them all on the board. And for this project, the publisher hired two designers of the War of the Ring game. The result is a new asymmetrical war game for two factions that pits the Harkonnen forces against the growing Freeman Rebellion. Simon note that their version of Dune used original design that are not based on the recent cinematic adaptation. What do you say to such a carnival of zombies? It will be a new announcement by Cool Mini or Not for Zombicide fans. 
A new installment in the series is coming. This time it will be Zombicide Rio de Janeiro. It's an expansion campaign to Zombicide 2nd Edition. In the box is expected to include new heroes and a campaign consisting of 10 missions much more difficult than normal. And the campaign is expected to launch pretty soon. If you like universe from role player or cartographers, uh, this news will be interesting for you because uh, on September this year, of course, uh, we'll start new campaign, new game from Tenderworks Games, Down of Ulos. On September 6, 2022, the campaign for the new game Down of Ulos will start. It's an economic tile game for one to five players set in World of Ulos. You will play as God from across the planar world, who lends their power to develop territories and manipulate to revolve factions across the land. Players invest in different factions by acquiring cards and build armies against each other to increase their favor with the world creator. So play terrain tales to develop existing territories or establish new ones and earn valuable rewards. Down of Humankind, uh, this is new proposition, new board game from a popular Catan series. It's coming! This new board game will be next installment of the Settlers of the Stone Age, offering new elements, strategies and adventures to explore. This time you will take on the role of a Stone Age people in Africa, building tools from bone and flint and spreading your people further afield. However, remember, take care of sustenance as well. This title is an independent adventure in the world of Catan, which will be released already in this year Gen Con that starts in early August. Unicorns are popular in board games. You know, sometimes they are so unstable, but now it's time for Pony and you will take a role, one of them, in new proposition, new board game from Renegade Game Studio, My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria, deck building game. Pre-orders have just been launched and you can also order Meeple Pack, which includes six print meeples. The game, along with the ponies, will be available at Gen Con in August. In this card game for 1-4 to four players, you must travel between different locations through Ponyville, get new cards to upgrade your deck, complete tasks for resources and overcome obstacles. Be careful! If you take too long, clouds will accumulate over time and cause you to fail in your task. The ponies will have to work together using teamwork and friendship to win the game. If you are fans of graffiti and real-time game, Pandasaurus Games publisher has announced its new board game, Wild Style. Pre-orders at the publisher have just begun and uh, the release of this title will take place on September 14. Wild Style is a competitive game for 2 for 5 players played in real time. Quickly grab the cards, you need to take over various city districts, trains, stations, apartment blocks and industrial wastelands. Try to complete objectives to maximize your score and win. If you are interested in this title, I leave you pre-order link for the description below. Okay guys, it's all for me today. Thank you very much for watching and for your attention. If you are publishers, uh, I encourage you to contact with me. I will uh, be happy to, you know, announce your new board games, uh, maybe some publisher plans in board news series. Uh, so I encourage you to contact with me. You will find uh, a data contact in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, leave a like, maybe share this video with others and join to my subscribers. Okay, see you soon in the next video. Bye!